Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to install VS Code on Mac OS. Now to install VS Code on Mac OS, I highly recommend you pull up this article. We always provide a written article that goes along with our videos. I will leave the link in the video description below if you watch this on YouTube or if you watch this on Humix, you can find the link in the upper left corner of your screen right now. And once you have pulled up that article, you can just click in the install VS Code on Mac OS uh, point in the table of contents and once you click there you can find all of the written instructions. Now the first step we need to do is we need to open up code.visualstudio.com and download the Mac installer. It automatically recognizes that you have macOS and downloads the respective installer file. I already have downloaded that. Once it's downloaded just click on it and this will extract the file and then you have the Visual Studio code file here and the way to install it you can either double double click on it I believe or you can just go ahead and drag it if it lets me into your applications folder and this will install Visual Studio code on macOS it already knows that I have it installed so I don't need to do that again in that case I'm just going to skip that I'm saying stop but for you it should install VS Code and then you can just open up VS Code by opening up the uh, search bar here with command and space and type code and this will find Visual Studio Code and it finds it two times now because I still have it in the downloads folder and I just open up Visual Studio Code. I probably have some old project opened up here but there is one more step you need to do if it's not doing it automatically or prompting you automatically which is um, integrating VS Code into your path and that means to integrate VS Code that you can open up files in VS Code directly out of your macOS terminal. Now to do that you have to press uh, Command, Shift and P at the same time to open up the menu from VS Code and then you want to type in Shell Command and you want to click on Install Code Command in Path. This is very important. Once you do that you have to restart your terminal for this change um, to take effect and I'm just going to show you what I mean by that or why this is useful so if I open up my terminal here I'm using iterm2 and by the way I'm using a uh, special configuration with oh my sh if you want to know how to set that up I leave a link in the video description below so that you can make your terminal look like mine so now I'm just going to go into the development folder that I have here I'm just going to create a new dir called temp. I'm going to cd into this temp dir and then let's give us some more space. You guys can see that better. And in here I'm going to create a new file called whatever test.py, a Python file. And if we do ls here, we can see that we have this file and we are inside of the development temp folder. Now if I just type in code and space dot and I hit enter then this folder will be opened up directly inside of VS Code for me, ready to write some code in. And uh, this is the way to do it. This is the way I use it in my daily development workflow. And this works really, really well. All right, guys, if this tutorial was helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more rapid fire tech instructional videos. If you look for longer format content, make sure to follow at Stefan Rose on Twitter and at Stefan Rose on YouTube for our long form tutorials. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you back.